Welcome to the AccuTrade Vindo Podcast. This week, Bob talks about creating a selling market that buyers will respect and connect with. Last week, we were talking about the market. You were talking about how at the beginning of COVID last year, um, and this is quote, quote, uh, I was stupid enough to know that we were definitely staying current to the market, so we are selling. So, so I put a little note to myself. So, why have you always gone that route, Bob? Uh, you're not holding back. You're oh not God, what a good question, Sean. Sean, this is really simple. And now we have other people that follow our methodology. What I'm, I'm referring to is John Wolf. He's doing unbelievably well with the playbook. So we call it the playbook because it's something that's time tested and trusted because of. Endless hours of conversation before we would actually implement it, right? And Johnny's implemented it to the hundredth degree, right? Where um, um, you can't do certain things to people when you invite them to a party. You invite them to a party and you give them, you know, unsweetened lemonade. You, you follow me in a stale pretzel, right? Well, you, you, you asked them to come. They gave you the respect to showing up. They're all dressed up and so forth. They even shined their car to get there, right? And then you throw piss in their face because you, you didn't give them a reason to be there. What I'm referring to is, oh, I need 300 more for that one. Oh, no, no, no sale, no sale. See, as soon as you start that, right, you've actually, it, it really OVE started it when I first started OVE 20 years ago, whatever that number was, right? It's uh, put your no sales on here and tell everybody you want too much for a card that's unsellable. And that's carried through till today. It happens on all marketplaces. You let people list cars on a marketplace. It has no relationship to the market, but you're hoping to find somebody to bump their head and pay too much. And sometimes it happens. And therefore, it's kind of like gambling. Put it all on red. And sometimes you win. But when you're all done, the marketplace it does the same thing as any other gambler. You go home broke looking for, you know, begging people for toll money to get up the Atlantic City Expressway. You dig it? Now, from the very first day, what we understand as players is how you attract more people to a marketplace is never, never insult them because they gave you the respect to showing up. Never do that. And always take the fear of any kind of transaction that they, they, they find to be not beneficial to them. So I'm going to give you a perfect example from last week. We sold a, a, an S-Class Mercedes to a dealer five states away. A low mileage, beautiful car, you know, sport pano, et cetera, right? And he gets it home, and he, he, he's got it. Before you can even say the words why it's got a PDR here, a, you know, quarter-inch thing, and maybe the thing on the, the books weren't lined up correctly in the glove box or some craziness, you ain't allowed to own it. In other words, don't sell it because you can't have it. What we're really doing when we say that is, A, we're, we are half Irish stupid mutts. Okay, that's number one. But number two... You ain't allowed to have no fear coming here. When you come here to this party, you will be overfed, over over drunk. You follow me? And you will listen to the music that you want to listen to. That's critical mass, right? And by doing so, eliminating the fear, what do you wind up with? More aggregated people willing to do business. And what you wind up with is 100% sold for market value. You see what I'm saying to you, Sean? So, so when we frustrate people in our own microscopic PVC pipe, two-inch PVC pipe, that you got to get every penny for every car, or you're not going to let the other guy participate, invite him to the party, and then charge him for the food. Nah, nah, I don't think so. Mm -mm. No, the piranha effect will never take place. In other words, where you're putting blood in the water, this this dumbass could do anything. Look what just happened. Um, yeah, now what you wind up with is. Um, I would call it laser focus because you're not going to miss what could happen on Jerry Springer's show. Look, uh, she slapped his mother right in the mouth. I can't believe it happened. The Jerry Springer effect. See, in a marketplace, if you don't enable that, oh, no sale, we'll run it again. Don't worry about giving the buyers bitter fatigue. Don't worry about that. Uh Uh-oh. Now we have what you would call chauffeur knowledge driving the bus Chauffeur knowledge, never been a player, do not understand the depth of what creates a marketplace. But you own the marketplace, so you must know, unfortunately, it's chauffeur knowledge. You've been there, you saw it, you failed at it, but now you're going to do it. Nah, 
Uh uh-uh. uh. Chauffeur knowledge. Just look that up someday and read it. You'll love it because it's a fact. The truth of the matter is, if you don't have skin in the game in the marketplace where everybody, at, when they come, they give you the respect of being there, every single unit is getting sold. It's, it's hairy carry time, brother. And what happens is, it increases the will of players to come back and repeat the same circumstance to pay too much for cars that they're definitely taking home and selling. In our case, if you did take it home and you couldn't sell it, we'll continue to hold your hand. I ain't going to act like I don't know your name. You follow me? Uh, no, what's going to happen is we will help you get back off that unit. You follow me? Because if you don't do that, the words, the words, no fear, are blank. Daddy O, they're they're without meaning. You see, in other words, the words "no fear" when you're actually not, um, let's say, not just pontificating but BSing, right? Um, that means you're inviting somebody in with the false hope of actually having no fear. The opposite is true. You follow me? Um, and and if you actually enable someone to, I don't want to call it trust, but understand there is no possibility of fear. Um, you wind up with the reason why we say um, every car that goes to a block is on a one-way trip. The other thing that's very interesting is, um, you know, um, not being, not stepping on your neighbor's poncho. So once you're invited to a party, you follow me? One of the most irritating things in the Marine Corps that I ever found, right, is you're on a force march, you're going from here to there, and it's raining, and it's freezing ass cold. And in other words, you're worn out, man. You know what I mean? Even though you're only 17, years, you're worn out. And somebody steps on your poncho. I, could, I can distinctly remember three fistfights that, that created, and I'm not a tough guy, I'm a, I'm a little sissy, but three distinct circumstances where I got in a fistfight because somebody stepped on the poncho. Stepping on the poncho is really interesting, right? It's where you want everything. You want to be the buyer and the seller, and you want to be the, um, uh, in the retail business and in the wholesale business. Oh, no. No, 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 that don't work, brother. See, because you're either in the kitchen or you're in the toilet, one or the other. You can't be in both places at one time, right? And there's different reasons why you're in the kitchen or the toilet, right? Some places are flush, some places to inhale, right? And from my perspective, when you cross that, when you cross that little bit of a unseen chisholm, right? Um, you're in dangerous territory. We would never dream of, of retailing a car because I ain't getting in the business of what our customers that give us the respect of participating, whether it's in software or in in, in uh, bricks and mortar. We never going to be there. The temptation has never been there because that ain't what we do. You follow me? What we do is help a dealer initially make a deal. Second, cash them instantly. Right, so there is no wait while you're paying something off, right? And then third, um, in other words, knowing that your word is your bond. So the tool is the bond. Our word is our bond. When you set it, you don't have to second guess it or back up or make a oh you, know, you farted and then you had to change your mind and I'll make up a good story and then we'll not pick it up or something. No, that that ain't the way this works. Because uh-uh. as soon as you do it, you follow me. Your word is no longer your bond, and you no longer have trust and now you've created fear as opposed to lack of fear does any of that make any sense to you sean did i answer your question maybe you're not well i think uh yes thank you i needed to hear that myself so i think <laughs> that's mm-hmm. great thank you very much mm-hmm. uh it's that's great my pleasure me. i really appreciate thank it you. we'll uh we'll get some, we'll lay some more down when you got a chance bob Hey, Shawnee, encourage anybody that has questions to shoot them in there also. You follow me? That we can address that stuff. So it's not just on topics that you or I feel like we'd want to talk about. I'm happy to do it on anything, uh, let's call it, uh, related to what we do. Don't want to get in space we don't do because then we'd become a pontificator. You might be talking about marketplaces and not being a player. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Tune in every week for a new episode where we chat with Bob Hollinshead, founder of AccuTrade and the largest independent vehicle wholesaler in North America.